Bitcoin is going way down, and that's no secret as crypto lovers throughout the globe have a dagger drawn right up to their throats. Millions and millions of dollars stand on the verge of a collapse as this once money-making machine seems to be running out of battery. But what's causing this Bitcoin bear market? And why should we not expect things to get back on track anytime sooner? Well, you're going to find out everything about Bitcoin and its decline in this video. So stay put and don't miss out. You might have a distinguished opinion, but truth be said, it all comes down to the end. Understanding what to invest in and what to stay away from is a big part of your journey to financial freedom. After all, it all depends on what decisions were made along the way. In this video, we're uncovering everything you need to know about the Bitcoin bear market. So make sure you watch the video till the end to make full use of it. Welcome to Five Star Finance, the place where we help you achieve your financial freedom. Cryptocurrencies have taken the world by surprise, but it's their non-productive nature that has made it risky for crypto lovers. For crypto to be of any use, there needs to be a reason other than mere speculation. But what if we told you that 95% of the blockchains are going to land in bad endings? So let's take a look at what's been happening with Bitcoin and what we can expect next. At the moment, crypto lovers have a total of $1.05 trillion to look at. But when we remove Bitcoin's cap from this, we have a total cap of $636 billion to look at. And that's a pretty decent cap, to be honest. Folks, we're talking about billions, but there's one thing that is worrying for all the people who have their fortunes invested in Bitcoin, and that is the fall of Bitcoin and Ethereum in the course of the last few days. For most of the market, the charts for Bitcoin are red. Not to forget that there has been a solid 15% increase in the price of Bitcoin over the last week, but the network decline has suggested a longer bear market. The phenomenon is quite simple to begin with because we all know that stronger demand is required for the price to go up in the longer picture, which means a stronger network. This might sound confusing for all those who are betting for the price to increase, but let us put it straight for you guys. First things first, Bitcoin is the crypto market's first asset. Since its launch in 2009, Bitcoin has been the core of the crypto industry, and we should not forget that it has a maximum of 21 million coins to go round and make money for its buyers through frequent price changes. Although crypto started with Bitcoin, now it has given rise to other coins as well, and new blockchain technologies are being developed to cement the position of crypto. It has been a long time since experts have been working on Bitcoin as a model, and they have also aimed to create different digital assets that can substantially improve the framework of Bitcoin as a transactional asset and a store of value. Now, it is quite peculiar, and that is what we need to go through before we understand the forthcoming bear market. As Bitcoin became a subject of interest for many millionaires, more people have been wondering about its working model. It is a decentralized cryptocurrency that operates on its blockchain, also known as the Bitcoin blockchain, that is basically acquired and managed by a big pool of participants globally. It is important to understand that Bitcoin is a borderless asset and it can obviously be traded and transacted fractionally. Now, it has a total of 21 million coins and unlike the US dollar, due to its maximum value of 21 million, it is scarce and deflationary, and it is also safeguarded by its open source code. Now, you might be thinking that these comments do not turn the Bitcoin market as devastated or something close to it. But what if we tell you that the bear market is coming, or may yet have started, and it will take all of this to a bad ending? No doubt that the coin has shown some growth of up to 15% in recent days, but the continuation of this growth will require an increase in demand, which looks quite gloomy, to be honest. That means we can be experiencing a severe bear market in the next days or so. A decline in the network can be interpreted as a lack of new demand for this network from all those speculative traders. When we look at the trend of the last couple of days, with an exception of a few spikes, the coin seems to be going down as there are no signs of a new demand influx. To be honest, this has always been the problem with non-productive assets. With crypto, the coins aren't producing something for you in the long run. And all you're dependent on is a price change or a new wave of excitement among crypto pools throughout the globe. No doubt that during the last week, a significant influx in demand was observed. But the influx has vanished as the days proceed, and they're all indicating a new wave of a bear market. Talking about comparisons, last year around November, Bitcoin was trading at an all-time high of $69,000. 
but it has lost its essence significantly as the price is down more than 50% and is trading at somewhere around $20,000. This might send shivers down the spine of all those crypto lovers, but there aren't any signs of price hikes as there is no demand in flux as of yet. After all, crypto, like other non-productive assets, revolves around the supply-demand chain, which at the moment is playing against Bitcoin. With that being said, this makes crypto a highly risky place to invest in as you are vulnerable to losing all your principal money. No one knows which way the bear market is going, but one thing is for sure, the statistics and analysis suggest something serious is coming. The stock market, on the other hand, shows tremendous amounts of potential even during a bear market, as the stocks are capable of making your investments grow in the long run. You see, that's what differentiates non-productive assets from productive assets. With stocks, apart from your principal investment, you're also receiving dividends as well as growth in the long run, which makes it an ideal place to start your journey at. But before you start investing in the stock market, you need to go through all the complexities of the market so that you can make better decisions through thick and thin situations. That is the reason we've provided a free ebook in the description below, which will explain the six stock categories which are important for every value investor to analyze. Check out the video we handpicked for you and we'll see you in the next one.